Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to Featured Farmhouse Friday. Thanks so much for joining. I am up in Glenmore again today. I'm actually taking a look at the Old Potts School. Lovely location. There's some preserved land right over here and my clients were actually taking a look at the land and I figured, hey, let's, let's head on out here for Featured Farmhouse Friday. So let me flip the camera around and I'll give you a little taste of what Glenmore has to offer. We are in Owen J. Roberts School District, that part of Glenmore. So let me flip this around. Super, super cute. Nice blanket of snow today. And we have a nice detached garage over here as well. And then right down the road, Pot School Road, there is some preserved land as well as another lot for sale. Um, you can only build on four acres of the lot, of the lot though, excuse me, because there is a protection area with a conservation easement. Lots of conservation easements in this area, which is awesome that all of the homeowners love to conserve the area and protect the landscape for the future homeowners to enjoy. So let me take you around to the sides and we'll head on in real quick. I'll give you a little taste of it. Um, technically, it's being listed as a three bedroom. However, in my opinion, it's definitely a two bedroom. Two bedrooms, one full and one half bath. Let me show you from this angle here. So here's your side yard. We do have septic, on-site septic, which there was an inspection completed. So if you'd like to take a look at the report, we can certainly do that. So let's head on inside real quick. And I will be jetting out to go look at 10 acres with a client. So we'll make this short and sweet today. So imagine just sitting out here on your front porch. You have literally no neighbors. Okay, pan around and then we'll head on in. Thanks for joining guys. So as we come into the old pot school, the old school house, you'll see we do have a nice sized living space with, you could use that as a dedicated dining space right there. To the left is going to be one of the bedrooms. They're considering this to be a bedroom. There is no closet, so this can't technically be a bedroom from an appraiser standpoint. Could be great for a home office or a nursery. So if we head over here, I'll give you a peek of the kitchen. Nice size kitchen. You could definitely put a table, have a nice eat-in kitchen. And then to the left, I love this stonework. Take a look. Really nice. I actually don't mind the, um, what, like the beadboard or the paneling or the, the knotty pine right there. I don't mind it. It fits with the home. So this is the second bedroom. This is a legit second bedroom. And then we head back to the other bedroom here. Just take a look at the character, the old built-ins. This is an old schoolhouse. And I love the fact that they stayed true to the home with some of the chalkboards. Love the old hardware. Love that, super nice. And then we head around to the full bathroom and the kitchen. which leads out to a nice little breezeway or enclosed porch, whatever you'd like to use it for. So down here we have two legit bedrooms and one, I would say nursery, home office, study. And then upstairs there is another room which could be used as a bedroom as well as a half bathroom. 
So if you guys would like full details on the property, I'll be sure to post a link to the specific property in the comments below. I do have to jet out, meet a client, take a look at 10 acres um, in Elverson. So I'm gonna head on out now and this afternoon, I'll be back on here after my appointments with some investors um, to take a look at this video, update it, upload it. And if you have any questions, feel free to type them on in here. Have a great day, guys.